So first off, Karen, what are your thoughts on last night's finale and heading into the night? Did you expect to be in that final two no matter who won HOH? Yes. Yes and yes. Yes? <laughs> well, what were your thoughts on the whole night? Um, either way, I figured that the one who won was going to bring me because that they were going to win first place. Right. So yes, I knew that. I kind of got that lined up that mm -hmm. I was going to probably end up second. And you mentioned your distrust for Kevin stems back to week one oh, when yes. he <laughs> voted against how you wanted after telling you you'd vote your way. That's so, right. Do you feel that focusing on Kevin so much kind of strayed you away from doing what was best for your game at all? No, never. That was part of the ploy. Is like as if this house you're so paranoid and people need something to focus on outside. So mm -hmm. the more that I foddered into that, the better it was for my game. And after your season-long rivalry with Kevin Martin, do you find it ironic that the two of you ended up at the end together? Isn't that just the be most beautiful ironic thing? Because yeah. my enemy or my ally would have brought me to the final two. Right. So I won. Very true. And you wanted to put Dimitri's game ahead of yourself in a way you wanted the best winner for your season. Had you not made it to the final two anyway, would you have regretted that at all? You know what, I think that honestly being a fan, I sit at home and I always think, you know what, who ends up third and fourth is worthy of one and two and I Agreed. wanted to change that this year and I don't think it did change. I think that the person in three and four should have been one and two. So as a fan and a player, I tried you guys. <laughs> I tried. You tried. But I, I benefited. Yeah. But I find that if you do the best things for people, you end up getting what you want if you are doing it that way right. and so it worked out for me as far as monetary. For sure. So Ike and Dimitri voted for Kevin to win the game. Were yes. you at all disappointed after you had saved them multiple times? You know what, I wasn't because I know how this game is and at right. the end of the day people do not put much on a social game in this house. It's always on the competitions mm -hmm. which you know that I just didn't have so yeah. I, no it didn't surprise me at all that it was a landslide. Heading into the season, you said you're a big fan of Gary. So yes. what did it mean to uh, you to be able to play the game with him and bond with him throughout your time in the house? You know what, it's everything that I dreamed of and more. We have a great friendship. We will have it outside this house. I'm just so grateful to have met him and been the friend that I knew he would be. We are, we're our little queendom. <laughs> I love it. So at 53 years old, how does it feel to have made it all the way to the end of the season? You know what, I hope that people will look at this like I said, that age is just a number and if you want to do stuff like don't give up and think that you're too old, you can't change careers or you can't change and do what you want to do in life. I hope this gives people inspiration to think that your life is not over because you become a certain number because, mm -hmm. you know, it's not. Right. So live your dreams. And after saying you wanted the best player to win your season, yes. how do you feel that the winner ended up being Kevin Martin? You know what, I wish it would have been Dimitri or Aika, but Kevin got the title. And you know what, well played. For him, well played. Like he studied him more than five or six hours a day. You, nobody could have beat him in those mm -hmm. comps. And people earn their right to be in this house and be in the position. And I won't take that away from him for nothing. So overall, how did this experience impact your life? You know what, I honestly, I've dreamed about this forever. This was such a goal of mine to come and do, and I just feel like, honestly, I am so grateful, but yeah. it's you will never know what it's like. The alumni of BB Canada and the US, only we know what mm -hmm. it's like to live under these circumstances, and I will forever as a fan not be as hard on them as I have been in the past. Right. All right, well, thank you so much, Karen. Thank you.